morning and uh, welcome back. Well, I must confess I've had a, uh, quite a few, well, funky days, should I say, uh, since I finished the episodes. I've, I've really been struggling, not just with, not with just energy levels and motivation in general, just, just everything. You know, like, like you do, you have ups and downs and uh, it's all just a moment. I know, I'm, although I've, you know, have made some really good progress the past few weeks, just looking ahead at what needs to be done before uh, end of September, it just all becomes a bit overwhelming. Uh, so I, uh, you know, I have been doing some things, but not very many. I haven't made much progress. It's now well, what day is it? It's Tuesday, and uh, this is the first first video of, of the week, which is one reason why I said there'd be a video missing because I kind of felt this was the direction for the end of last video. I kind of thought that this was gonna gonna happen. Anyway. On more chewy notes, I, uh, things will perk up because in a couple of hours' time I have a, uh, a well, I was going to say special visitor, but all my visitors are special. But anyway, my father arrives, uh, he's wanting to come and uh, help with the boat, so although it's not particularly in the scheme of things, uh, we're going to, as long as the weather holds, and as typical it's not as good as I'd hoped, but if the weather holds we, uh, we intend to put some, uh, another couple of coats of, uh, of the epoxy Yotamastic 90 on the uh, uh, let, you know, shorthand blacking. It's not, it's not traditional bitumen blacking, but anyway, we're going to do some blacking coats. So, so as you can see, it's rather hard to work. Say hello, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to wash, wash this off, give it a light sanding, and hopefully a coat of Yotamastic of the weather holes. Well, that's it's washed down, which makes it frankly look worse than uh, when we started. A light sanding now. In the interest of fairness, I'd like to point out I, I am doing the hand sanding. I have to confess that I wasn't uh, very enthused about pulling the blacking on because I thought, well, black on black. <laughs> but because of the way that the the Yotamastic fades in the UV, which it, you know it does, uh, it's actually been quite satisfying. And while we're taking care with the finish, you know, you don't have to worry so much you do with the top side. You know, if, if there's a bit of bit of fluff or something in, I'm not uh, so worried. Halfway there. Half to do. Well, I didn't think we'd get both sides done, which is fantastic. Of course, like every time with this painting job, as soon as we finished, it started raining. Next day, second coat done. Not as satisfying as the first one, but hey, it's great to get done. Yeah, it's this stuff is a not UV stable, so let's see uh, how it fares the next three months. Might have to another, might be have to another do a touch up coat before it goes in the water. But still, it's great. That's great to get a uh, major job done. Thanks, Dad. After much faffing and quite a bit of work avoidance, I've finally got the ventilation done for the toilet. It's, uh, it's taken some time because A, it's fiddly, and B, it's one of those things that, uh, although it's fiddly and has to look, requires a lot of thought, there's absolutely sort of no visual difference by the time we've finished, so it's not very motivational. Anywho, so there's a little uh, fan here in the, uh, in the toilet that will be on continually, and that just makes sure that there aren't any uh, untoward uh, odours coming out of, the, uh, out of the composting toilet. And then there's a, a larger fan that will come on when uh, you know, those wires have just popped out. They're not meant to, <laughs> they won't be there when Mr Trim comes along. Anyway, that's, uh, so that's, that will turn on when you have the light on for here. The continuous fan is then ducted up to here. And this is where I've made life so much more difficult to myself. You know, most of those compost toilets, they, uh, you know, they, they sort of, they, people drill a, drill a hole in the hole and just have a little uh, skin fitting. But you know my version to skin fitting. So what I've done here, this is kind of a, a plenum. Uh, and inside there is uh, the sort of, the, with, with bits of wooden stuff, there is, uh, and some perspex, there, there are some baffles and some uh, basically a, a plenum. So the two airflow streams are kept separate. And inside here, the, uh, the duct pipe up to the uh, mushroom vent is also split in two. So hopefully that means A, there's only one, one hole for, uh, for, for two, two exits, as it were. And then there shouldn't be any backdraft from, the, uh, from either of the airflows. Weather well, said, I, I have a feeling I, you know, this is more faff than it's, uh, it should have been, but, uh, well, you know, they're necessary, but hey, it's done now. Morning. 
Well, as you can tell, as you, should, you can always tell, from my, uh, my hair is a lot shorter, which means I've had a few days away from the boat. Uh, well, it's actually a few more than a few days, but it felt like a, a few days. Anyway, that was uh, that was good. I needed uh, I needed to get away. It was two five weeks. Five weeks at the moment here is uh, is too long, and I don't. I will try as much as I want to get the work done. I think in the future I will try to uh, make sure I don't have quite as uh, as long uh, periods up here. Anyway, so I'm back now, and uh, the forward plan is to as much as I don't want to, because I'm frankly bored of it, uh, is to finish off the the bathroom bits which comprises mainly of putting the other door up and uh, getting the locks and catches on both doors. And then also there's the toilet uh, to paint because uh, I think I mentioned in the last video that I was thinking I might just varnish it, but on close inspection, the plywood just wasn't good enough and it needed some filling. So, so paint is the way to go. Right, well, after a day and a half of filling around, I've uh, finally got uh, everything but the painting done. So. Doors have now got catches and will stay. And this one, they finally got the other door to the bedroom done, and that's done with the, the trim. And there is, you can see, so what I've got is, is two locks on, well, a lock on each door, so you can uh, use the bathroom and nodes are going to be running through. Well, I'm not finished, but I spent the afternoon, as you can see, building a pair of cupboards by the door. Given that I'm supposed to be concentrating on central things, I know it may not seem essential, but I really thought it was a good idea to uh, to have some protection for the for the water pump and stuff. Otherwise, something's going to be dropped or kicked or whatever. I think I'll be putting the washing machine on this evening. Well, I got up this morning and I thought, well, I'll finish off those, finish off the cupboard in a, uh, you know, <laughs> well before lunch. It's now, uh, it's now almost tea time. And I mean tea time as in what uh, I used to call dinner as a child. So, I mean, late, late afternoon. Uh, I spent it all day because, and this is why I'm covered in dust. I was just going to put the tops on, which is what's covered me in dust. It's the, uh, it, it's you know, sanding those. It's the, it's the old remnants of the old oak top worktop. It's taken me longer because just on here, although it's come up pretty well, there wasn't quite enough uh, left, and so I had to do another join. I haven't done anything like the 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 uh, join, you know, the worktop join is like last time because it's such a small piece, and I could the size it is, I could give it a really good clamping when use some gorilla glue. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty fine, and I'm pretty pleased how it's come out. Rachel saw it and she said uh, she thought it was a good join and that is a uh, high praise indeed from somebody as good as she is. Anyway, I wasn't going to do it all, but I thought, well, why not go the whole hog and just get it all all done? I mean, when I say all done, it's still yet to be painted and varnished, as you can see, and some catches put on. But I've got the uh, I've got cupboards now, either side, and the ones on the bottom will be magnetic catches because they're going to be behind the steps. But uh, yeah, it's nice to <laughs> it's nice to actually feel there is something something actually completed rather than uh, just uh, en route, which was the kind of thing that was getting me down with the bathroom last few weeks. So that is tomorrow's activity to finally, uh, well, I'm not going to say goodbye to the, uh, the, the step stool, but uh, to actually put some proper steps in there, which I think will be a, a great boon for anybody who comes to visit and me myself. Morning. Well, today it's steps. Five, six, seven, eight. And I didn't wash my uh, didn't wash my clothes last night because I realised I'm just going to get covered in sawdust today. So there seemed little point. Step one: cut the side supporting pieces. Step two: glue and screw some cross braces. Step three: cut out lots and lots of rectangles. Lots of bits of wood. Step four, get the router table out. Step five, see what I'm doing here? <laughs> Change your clothes because it's getting far too hot. Step six, Make a couple of drawers from some of the rectangles. Step 
7 add some bolts that way you can secure the steps in place but easily move them if you need to uh, for instance get access to the water pump which is behind that panel step 8 add the last two uh, remaining rectangles which are the steps which are made from offcuts of the 25 mil ply that I used for the flooring step 9 add the step back stroke uh, storage doors which need to have handles on yet uh, uh, that will be something to be done in the future. And step 10, varnish and paint as applicable, <laughs> which also will be done in the future because I'm not going to be doing it today. So <laughs> there you are, 10 steps to uh, making steps. <laughs> so I promise I didn't start off with the uh, conceit of trying to make it 10 steps, but uh, it just happened to, uh, to turn out that way. Anyway, uh, it's Friday night now, and uh, well, if I was miss, where am I? Well, <laughs> the owner is uh, is faffing around with his long arm uh, digger contraption, perilously near the bow of my boat, and I was just such on uh, such tent hooks that I decided, giving you know, last time last time I was manoeuvring around my boat, I thought, well, hell, it's uh, I finished work now. I will come down and uh, sit by the canal and uh, <laughs> enjoy a beer by the canal rather than sitting there worrying about what he's going to do. Uh, he's supposed to be moving a boat, but uh, let's, uh, let's see. Anyway, uh, so I've, uh, this is a, this is a two-week video. I've, I've, I've started editing and uh, last night and I realised that I haven't got very much stuff uh, and it's not particularly interesting. I mean, that's the ups and downs. One of the things is that what I was doing was not particularly uh, Photo videogenic as I've uh, sometimes not and also it's very difficult to photograph or you know film anything in the confines of the uh, of the toilet area and similarly even with the steps uh, if the lights not right the cameras shine the, uh, the lights shining straight on the camera and uh, it's hot here and I'm quite thirsty uh, it's uh, it's one of the things you know this this camera you know the phone I use is an iPhone 7 it's, uh, it's ancient now and while it's absolutely brilliant in many ways it's not as uh, clever as the cameras these days anyway I'm very pleased to got those uh, steps done and the more or less the bathroom except the everything there's always a bracket except the painting because I'm said I'm pushing that to the back at the moment but uh, I'm pleased and I have to say I'm in a much better frame of mind than I was when I arrived uh, back from the well than I was from the first week and also where I was in the first few days of coming back from, uh, from my visit here, so that's good. So, in the meantime, I will stop rambling. I will enjoy my, my beer. Quick panorama of the canal actually where the wharf is. That's just the entrance there, you can see. <laughs> There's the lifting in. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Cheers. <laughs>